Hello everybody, my name is Kieran and welcome back to another RuneScape guide. Today we're going to be showing you my method of barrows. I'm going to be using a method called the Graceful Method. So, let's get right into it. Now, the method that I use is called the Graceful Method, as I said, and this will have some pretty high requirements. So, if you are lower levels and you haven't progressed much in RuneScape, then I would skip to later on in the video. I'll put a link down in the description as to what timestamp um, you'll skip forward to. Because the way you go around the caves is roughly the same, it's just the setup and getting there is a little bit different with the requirements that I'm going to talk about in a second. So, what you're going to need for this method is, first of all, you're obviously going to need full grace. As you can see here, it's all the six pieces you have here, which will cost you 260 marks of grace. You can get marks of grace by training agility on the rooftop courses. Now, assuming you do that straight away from level 1 agility, you should be level around level 60 or 65 agility by the time you have all your marks of grace. You're also going to need to have completed the Mauritania Hard Diary, which will give you the Mauritania Legs 3. This will enable you to have 50% bonus runes from the Barrow's Chest, which is really awesome, that will be increasing our profit. And it gives us a teleport to Bird of Rot, which will enable us to do really quick and efficient runs, which obviously, in conjunction with our um, Barrow's, with our Graceful, uh, beg your pardon, it will allow us to obviously... Um, our quicker runs obviously mean that uh, we can uh, restore energy quicker with our um, with our full Graceful, because when we have a full set, you restore energy 30% faster, which is awesome. Then obviously Graceful has a weight reducing effect anyway, which means that we won't be losing our run energy as quickly. So that's really, really useful. It means that we don't need any stamina potions with us. We don't need to take any kind of energy potion whatsoever. Um, we can just use bring all of this and it's absolutely fine. Now, I'm also going to be talking about your um, equipment and setup that we're going to be using. And basically, the better stuff you have, the better it's going to be. I'd recommend, first of all, having a decent combat stats, decent melee stats, because we'll be using melee for the caves. You want a decent range level, because we're going to be killing Aaron with range. And you also want a decent magic level, because magic is the main thing we're going to be using. So, we're first of all, we're going to be using melee for getting our kill count in the Barrow's Caves. Um, I'll talk about that when we get to it. We're going to want a Avas Accumulator and a Magic Shortbow, or whatever ranged weapon you have. Um, if you have a Toxic Blowpipe, that would be ideal. Um, this is for killing Aaron, because Aaron is weak to range. And then, you're going to want your Ivan Staff, or a Trident of the Seas, or something like that, a good Magic Staff, and a sort of Shield, I'll talk about the Shields in a minute. You're going to obviously want your Staff um, to kill the remaining 5 Brothers, because the remaining 5 Brothers are extremely weak to Magic. Now you might be thinking, hold on, I'm using Grace, or surely my Magic bonus won't be that great. And it isn't, it's only 32. But to be honest, the brothers have an extremely uh, are extremely weak to magic, which means that whatever your magic bonus is, as long as it's above zero, um, you, you'll be hitting them fine. Now, if you have a fury, that's ideal. If you have a glory, that's fine. It doesn't matter too much. Um, I am using a malediction ward. You can use a DFS. You can use a crystal shield. Any kind of shield with a good defense bonus. I'm using this purely because it helps a little bit with my magic, although that's not too important. As long as it has a good defense bonus, that's fine. So obviously a DFS would be very, very good. Because obviously we're going to be uh, tanking a few hits. Um, so obviously if your defense level is higher, that would be, be good. But you don't have to worry about that too much because we're not going to be taking a load of damage. I'm taking Ring of Life just in case anything bad happens. Because, you know, something if we disconnect or whatever, um, it will be useful to save us all our graceful. Um, and I'm just going to talk about the remainder of the stuff in our inventory. I'm just bringing a whip, obviously. I think I mentioned that for the melee. Um, teleports and the spade. We need spade, obviously, to get into barrows. And um, we're just going to bring house teleports just as an emergency. So, obviously, Ring of Life teleports, and we're pretty much safe. Um, I talked about these two earlier. Now, you might be wondering why I have coins and bolt racks and all of this kind of stuff. The reason why I have these is because these are all the rewards that we can get from barrows. So, um, the, all the runes, with the exception of fire runes, because I'm using Iban's Blast, which uses fire runes. With the exception of the fire runes, everything you see here uh, rewards that you get from barrows. Obviously, apart from like barrows items and like loot path keys or whatever. Apart from that, I just like to have these already set up in my inventory just because it makes everything neater. And we're going to be bringing Ring of Dueling as well. Um, so we can teleport to Clan Wars when we finished our um, when we finished our Barrow's run. Obviously, we're at Clan Wars at the moment, and Clan Wars, the portal. Uh, if we go in that portal there, and then we teleport out of it to Bird of Rot, it will enable us to uh, replenish any health, any prayer, and energy, any energy that um, we don't have. I'm bringing a, a prayer potion. One prayer potion will be plenty enough, and then just a few food. But anyway, let's start with the run. Oh 
Okay, so once we arrive at Barrows, um, obviously you're going to notice there's six mounts. Obviously you need a spade to get into six mounts. Remember you have a spade. If you've forgotten one, there's one that respawns over there. So um, that will save the day if you don't have one. Now you can do these in any order. Obviously there's going to be a Barrows Brother in each of the six mounts and a Crypt in one of them. I just like to do it anti-clockwise. It's just a routine that I do it in. Um, make sure, by the way, when you go through a Clan Wars portal or anything like that, your spell does get um, un casted So remember to have your autocast on because that will really help. And the first brother I'm going to be killing today is going to be Darok. So remember Darok, you want to be praying melee because he hits really hard. You can pray, flick him if you want, but to be honest, I don't see it's that worth it because um, he can obviously he can just hit giant numbers. He can hit like 50s, 60s easily if you're not careful. So I like just to keep my prayer low, not my prayer low, my prayer up, and obviously that means that he can't hit through me at all. So that's good barrels. As you can see, my prayer did drain. Now the prayer will drain every 10 seconds, depending on your prayer level. It's between like 10 and 15. Um, so obviously the quicker you kill the brothers, um, the less prayer drain you have. Now I'd say like 10% of my kills are um, quicker than 10 seconds. Um, and then the majority are in between 10 and 20 seconds. So obviously my prayer only usually drains once, which is awesome. Sorry if you can hear them in my mouse by the way, I'm going to be prayer flaking just to save on prayer points. Obviously I do expect the prayer to be drained uh, each time we kill a brother. As you can see when that face pops up that means your prayer has been drained. Um, but I prayer flick just to save on a few prayer points because that really helps out. So that's Guffin killed in the uh, southeast corner. I was going to be going in an in anti-clockwise uh, direction. You don't have to do that at all, it's just what I what I always do. Um, next up we're going to be killing Carol in the south, make sure to pray a range. And Carol is our tunnel for today. So that means that Carol will be somewhere in the in the Barrow's tunnels below. And what that means is that he's guarding the chest basically. So he's somewhere there. So we will return to his mound once we've killed all the other brothers. So this brother here in the southwestern corner is Torag. Torag's probably one of the easiest to kill. Torag we can uh, prayer flick um, pretty quickly. Again, sorry if you can hear my mouth. It is an extremely loud mouth. I have no idea why it's so loud. But um, I don't know. You should be happy that I'm prayer flicking. I highly advise that you do it. You can, just, you can use your quick prayers as well up there. Um, it's pretty easy to do so. And the next brother we're going to be killing will be Virak. Virak is a little bit different. Um, obviously, we can pray against pretty much all of the uh, brothers easily, with the exception of Virak. I'll talk about what Virak does in a sec. If we stop splashing against Torag, that would be that would be really nice. And we get hit at 21 because I didn't pray. That's what happens. So unfortunately, we did get um, we did get drained twice there because our hits weren't that good, and our hits are actually awful. I, I've never seen hits this bad. Anyway, let's go up the stairs before we get drained again. And let's move on to Virak. Now the thing is with Virak is that Virak hits through your prayer, which means that even if you're praying melee, Virak can hit through that. Um, but it's not too bad, because um, if you pray melee, it reduces the maximum damage that Virak does. And um, this is where your good defense bonus shield is really handy. If you have a shield with a really good defense bonus, um, you won't be taking as much damage, which is awesome. As you can see, I'm taking a bit of damage, but that's fine. Um, obviously, we go back to Clan Wars after this, and we have food on us. Uh, just remember to keep your melee crit up, just to reduce as much damage, uh, the damage that we can, uh, we can take. So that's Virak killed. I'm just going to eat a few lobsters here. Um, if you have sharks, that's ideal. Lobsters are fine for me. They're very cost effective, and they do the job fine. Now. This is where our range comes in, because we're going to be killing Aaron, who's in the middle tunnel. So we're just going to uh, put our special attack on. Um, I'm going to drink a dose of prayer potion. And I am going to go into this tunnel. And uh, make sure you have your... Um, as you can see, we didn't... We hit all right there. You can prayer flick if you want to. You can just keep it up. It doesn't really matter. You'll be saving... Uh, again, if you prayer flick, you're saving like one dose of prayer potion, which might be useful. It'll save you a bit of money. But obviously it's easier just to pray, you can do that if you want to. Now the thing you need to know about um, Aaron is that obviously she drains your stats. I don't worry about that too much because of the monsters in the tunnels, we don't use melee that much anyway. Um, so you don't have to worry about it loads. Um, if you want to bring a super restore instead of a prayer potion that might be a good idea. But obviously super restores are a little bit more expensive so it's up to you if you want to bring a super restore. So as you can see, our prayer has now been drained to zero. I'm not going to restore back up until we meet Carol in the tunnel tunnels. Because otherwise, we're just literally going to be um, going to literally be drinking the prayer potion, and it's just going to drain instantly. So we're going to go ahead. We've killed all, all the five brothers apart from Carol. Now, what you need to know about these tunnels is that it's basically like a three by three grid, and the chest is in the middle, and some of the doors we can't open. I'm going to get my kill count as soon as possible. Uh, we do want an eleven kill count, 
because that is the optimal kill count for getting bonus runes. That was confirmed by a Jmod. So 11 kill count is the best one for getting runes. Obviously, if your Grez, if your strength has been drained a bit, it, it, I'm still hitting fine. And these have very low hit points, all the monsters in here. So it's nothing to worry about. Now you just want to look for which doors you can, um, which doors we can open. I believe we can only open this one. And we just want to be working our way. Um, so as you can see, we now have come across Carol. So we're instantly going to drink some prayer potion. And um, I'm going to put on my uh, my oven staff. Don't forget to um, autocast that. And uh, take another dose of prayer potion if you want to, which I might. Because Carol can hit pretty hard. So obviously, um, if, when you come across them, just make sure you drink your prayer potion. Um, I'm going to have another dose here because I think it's about to drain. So obviously it drains every 10 seconds. Just drink your dose of prayer potion and put your magic gear back on. Um, you might take a few bits of damage, um, but it's fine. We didn't take much damage there at all. And we should be fine with... Uh, Drinking. So in this run, as you can see, we did drink three doses of prayer potion, I believe, which is slightly worse than average. On average, I will drink two doses of prayer potion in a normal run. In a really good run, I'll drink um, no doses of prayer potion. Uh, sorry, one dose. Never drink no doses. That never happens. Okay, so we have killed uh, all six brothers, which means we don't need to worry about using our, our items blast anymore. Now all we have to do is worry about getting this kill count up to 11. And getting to the chest. Alrighty. So things like bloodworms and crypt rats, they're really good to kill because obviously they're very low. They only have 45 HP. The crypt rats are probably the best level 43 guys. They have extremely low HP. I bet the skeletons are fine. They might be like level 77, but they're they're low HP and they don't do that much damage. So we're just going to get our kill count up to 11. See which doors we can open. Uh, we can open all of these apparently. It's good. That's going to get the kill count up to the maximum it can be. Now, obviously, we did go through this outside tunnel, which means this, we are pretty much on the outside layer of the grid, if you want to picture it like that, which means that we should be uh, working our way towards the middle, so this door would probably be the, the best thing to go through. So we're going to need to get one more kill, and then we can just work our way through. I'm just going to kill the skeleton. If you want to get bonus bolt racks, you can get a 14 kill count. I don't really recommend that, because bolt racks aren't too... They don't cost that much. I don't think it's worth it. Um, and obviously, it's going to take you three more kills, so you're spending more time. So I just recommend getting 11, because there's only one door that leads to the middle. So if you go one way wrong, you have to run all the way back. So you can see, we can see the chest. And uh, try and get one we know. That's the one I don't know. I will put a link to all the puzzle answers in the uh, description below. Um, you, you get around to memorizing them. As you can see, we don't have, we haven't. Um, haven't got any monsters to kill. We've got our 11 kill count, called all the brothers, and uh, we don't get anything. So what we can do, we can uh, rub our ring of jewelry once this skeleton stops attacking us. Jesus Christ. We can teleport to Clan Wars. Um, we should be alright with this, uh, with uh, this profession here. I'm just going to put our magic shortbow back up there. So all you have to do really, if you need to replace your prayer potion, you can do that. Um, I just go here to uh, get more food, and then we can uh, simply run back into the clan wars portal and once we're there we can teleport using our legs to bird of rock and as you can see bam we will teleport we have everything replenished we are all ready with a new inventory and uh, we are ready to start a run again now that run that i just did was very very slow for me that was like a nine minute run usually it will take me about seven six or seven minutes i'd say on average so um it will kind of fluctuate that was a slow run sometimes it's very quick with six minutes it honestly depends on your luck when you run through the tunnels as you can see we had pretty bad luck when we ran through the tunnels there because obviously there's only one door that leads to the middle so i hope this video helped guys if it did leave a like rating and subscribe for more and i will talk to you again soon